Hello, beautiful friends, Heather here. This is my update video. And I'm not exactly sure to what capacity I'm supposed to share what I've been up to. So I'm just gonna follow my divine guidance here. I have been on the road for four months. Um, I sold and gave away just about everything I own and I have been traveling and as I had mentioned about following our divine guidance it's like a breadcrumb trail and it's not a straight path and so I had received a message that you know because I got called to Europe to be with a soul tribe my soul family um, and so I thought okay great and then I got the message I was supposed to go to the East Coast because I'm on the I was on the West Coast of the United States and so I thought I was supposed to fly there I had no idea um, what I was supposed to do and I had gotten rid of everything <laughs> just like the synchronicities of the way everything worked out like you know calling forth the suitcase and then a suitcase showing up at the thrift store on the half off day you know and i had just given everything i owned to the thrift store so when my guides came through and said go to the thrift store i was like are you nuts i'm not buying anything else and then they were adamant so i went to the thrift store and of course it was half off day and got the suitcase so anyhow then i got the guidance that i'm supposed to drive across the country which i lit up and you know when it's your highest excitement that that's where you're supposed to go. That's how you follow the breadcrumb trail. So um, I lit up and I was like, yes. And I'm an avid camper, always have been, you know, been on the, I've taken trips like several months on the road, just camping and having no destination and just going. <laughs> so I was like, yes, I'm all about driving across the country. So basically I hopped in the car and kind of, shot across the country i did spend like a week in sedona due to stuff like i needed someone to send me a package so i had to wait for the package and then there was all these like complications and stuff which nothing's a complication everything's happening for us not to us so that like really got me to slow it down but then i shot across the country and once i got there it was random and I'd like, I don't even know. I'm not going to go into all the details, but then I got called back across the country. So then I drove back across the country and through this journey for me, um, has been, this has been part of like my ascension process. If you want to call it that my, um, acceleration, my taking on more light, my initiations, um, and it's not like the initiations I did in past lives with like mystery schools and stuff like that. This is like my, this is the now initiations. And so like holding frequencies of lack and, um, you know, having, having enough money in the wallet per se, like, which that's a whole nother topic. We'll get to that. But, um, you know, like trying to save like a penny here and a penny there and then like ending up in a real shitty hotel and then my guides are like well that's the frequency you're holding change your frequency and your reality will change and I'm like oh <laughs> so it's been like <laughs> a journey with so many different initiations along the way I ended up back on the west coast and then back again on the east coast um and now I'm back again, sort of on the West. I'm not on the coast, but I'm, I'm definitely in the Western side of the U S now. Um, and I'm a completely different person. I'm pretty much a different person every moment, but, um, I have been, uh, I've attended a couple retreats, several retreats, one with shared heart journeys. Amazing. Richard and Nancy. Amazing. Um, yeah, I did a retreat with them on the Outer Banks for a week, which was amazing. And then I did two weeks with uh, two beautiful women, um, Brooke and Lisa, and they are I Love Moo. Um, I Love Moo 144. I Love Moo 144. And uh, I was with them for several weeks, and that was in uh, North Carolina. 
and um, yeah and then I sort of like loosened up a bit um, and I've been doing a lot of camping and currently off-grid camping which is amazing um, and just facing fears releasing emotions um, spending a lot of time going within opening up to receive um, and stepping into the space of knowing that I'm fully supported, stepping into the I am, remembering, because we've been like kind of dismembered from the I am with our a veil of separation. And so remembering into the I am and knowing that we're all one and that the only thing that was ever holding me back from abundance were discord in my frequency and me putting out the frequencies that I wasn't worthy or I didn't deserve money or... Um, if I had it, it would go away and this, that, and the next thing. So, you know, just leveling up, leveling up, leveling up. Um, and it's a process and I'm still enjoying the process, calling forth ease and grace with this process. Um, I felt like there was something else I was going to say there and I, I missed it. Well, if it's important, we know it'll come back. Um, oh yeah, I did another retreat with, um, Bentinho, Bentinho and the No Limit Society, Bentinho Massaro. Amazing. And he's got, uh, the free online retreat. It was like a, for a weekend. And that was just recently super powerful. Um, and again, only take what resonates, leave the rest. If these, if these people don't resonate, not a big deal. I'm, I'm not, you know trying to get you to go there but I'm just saying um you know open yourself up to other things things outside of ourselves um uh, yeah there is so much potency going within and I'm not saying to not go within but um there is a huge benefit to connecting with others and we are being called to connect with our soul tribes and all of these other beings hold frequencies that end up unlocking frequencies within you and if they've done healing with certain things they're going to be holding the healed frequency which is going to start triggering you and unlocking you and releasing your densities around these particular you know blockages if you will um so anyhow there's that and <laughs> i hear it giant raven squawking in the background it's pretty cool um, yeah, I'm currently in Wyoming and it's amazing. It's been a while since I've been in Wyoming. No, it hasn't. It's been a couple years. <laughs> um, um, I guess that's a while. I don't know. Time's kind of funny these days. Yeah, there's a lot I could go into. Um, but that's my update. And so still just following the path, following the path, following the path. Like I was on the East Coast and I got the call to get out here, to get back out here. And um, and it felt fairly urgent, which is interesting because I'm like, oh, wait, what? And then I made the arrangements, you know, looked at the map and that all felt really aligned. And I was kind of going to take my time. And then just the way that everything happens, I was guided to get out here fast. And... Um, and it turned out that I needed to be out here to do um, a, a sacred clearing and a ritual ceremony, if you will, um, on these mountains. And it was a, it was on Father's Day. It was revolving around those energies and a lot of other stuff that I'm not going to go into. But um, so that's the thing. Like, just follow your excitement, follow your guidance, and when things don't go how you expected them to realize that it's happening for a reason release the desired outcomes of how things are supposed to go and go with the flow right that's what we're being called into go with the flow i just got a message the other day that i'm still being too controlling <laughs> and i was like wow really <laughs> So, you know, like, this is what we're doing, you guys. This is it. Like, you, you don't bring the 3D paradigm into the 5D paradigm, or you don't bring third density into fourth density. It just doesn't work that way. It just doesn't. So we've got to release the control. 
We've got to go with the flow, release the de desired outcomes, follow your highest excitement. Um, if you don't know what to do, wait until you do. And when the emotions arise, let them out. Let them out. Love them. Release them. Say thank you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you to all involved because you've been them all. You are them all. We're all one. We're all one. Release judgment of yourself. Release judgment of others. That's another thing that I'm going to throw into this is that, you know, I hear often that everyone's like so ready for alien contact, but they're still judging other humans. You're judging your own collective, who you are <laughs> and you're one with, and you want to go ahead and meet another collective. There's no way. Get real. Get real. <laughs> You've got to stop judging and accept and allow, honor everyone's journey. And when you step into that space of oneness, you realize that everyone's just here for expansion and soul growth. And everything already has been accepted or else it wouldn't be happening. Everything is divine. So let's release the judgments. Let's step into that space of just love because that's all we are is love. We're love. We're one. All is love. Well, I digressed a little bit, but that's the update. So I love you so very much. Thank you for your continued love and support. And when I have service, I will upload videos because I'm definitely being called to that. Um, so I'll see you soon. I love you so much. Thanks for all you're doing. Bye for now. Blessings. Bye.